Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this look, I decided to do a grungy, dark kind of look because I was just feeling like that lately. So to start off, I'm gonna use some tape so that I can get a really, really sharp wing and it kind of controls where the eyeshadow goes. And I just didn't feel like messing up the rest of my face makeup since I had already done my face first. And then I'm going to go into my NYX eyeshadow base because I want the colors to really stand out in this look. I wanted to have a nice neutral light base so that it will make the colors more vibrant. And then just blend everything out and I'm putting it all over my lid and almost all the way up to my brow bone. And to set that I'm using my e.l.f. setting powder, translucent setting powder. And just brushing it on, take away all the creaminess so that the eyeshadows can blend a lot easier. And for my transition shade, I'm using my Essential Eye Palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm using a kind of mauve taupe kind of shade just as a transition color. And then for my brow bone, I'm using my Smoky Palette from Urban Decay and just neutralizing my brow bone. And then in that same palette, I'm using the darker brown shade to kind of start building my smoky eye slash dark cut crease. I'm not really sure what to call it, um, but basically it's the same as the base for a smoky eye. So start with lighter colors first and then build it up with darker colors as you go along. And that's what I'm doing right here with the purple from that same palette. Just going all over my lid and creating a base for the darker colors to come later. Now to create my crease, I'm using that black shade in the same palette and just carving out where I want my crease to be. So it's kind of like a cut crease technique because I'm going above where my actual crease is because I wanted my eyelids to be a lot bigger in this look and have more space to do my smoky eye. So I did a cut crease a little bit above where my normal one is. And then I just blend it out. And the key to this is blend, blend, blend. Onto the base for the glitter. I'm using the same eyeshadow base that I used in the beginning. And this is just as a primer so that the glitter has something to stick to. And I'm using the NYX Glitter Brilliance, the blue color. I'm not really, I'm not sure what the exact shade is, but I'll have it in the description box. And I'm just packing it onto my lid using a really small eyeshadow brush. And then I'm going in with Starry Night from Bare Minerals and I'm smoking out the outer corner of my eyelid. I kind of wanted it to be a gradient from blue to purple, so that's what I was creating there. And then just keep blending above it so that you don't have any harsh lines. And then for an inner corner pop, I'm using my Bella Pierre Luster Illuminator. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Gel Liner, which I had to add some argon oil into the pot so that I could mix it up. It was a little bit dry, but adding a little bit of oil to it makes it a lot more manageable and it just glides on so much easier. And I'm also dragging it down to my lower lash line as well. And then I'm using my 24 hour Bare Minerals Eyeliner in black to tight line my eyes. And I'm going back in with Starry Night from Bare Minerals and blending out my bottom lash line. And I'm using the Bella Pierre Illuminator in the center as well just to add some more dimension to it. For lashes, I use the Kiss Lashes Lank Mink but only better in Midnight. And to line my lips, I'm using this ColourPop brown liner. I forget the name, but again, it'll be in the description box. And this is just so that I have a guide of where to put my dark lipstick. And for the dark lips, I'm using the NYX Cream Suede in Subversive Socialite. 
and I love 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 this color you do have to kind of build it up though with just one swipe it's not as pigmented but if you add a couple layers it gets really really dark and it achieved the look that I was going for and for highlight I'm using that same Bella Pierre illuminator on my cheeks and my nose my forehead my chin all the high points of my face and that is it that's the completed look I hope you guys enjoyed it I really enjoyed creating this look it's one of my favorite ones so far and if you want to see some more looks please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye